Welcome to our trailer on e-learning on stability testing in the ICH region. My name is Beatrix Metzner and I'm the head of Global Tech RA at Böhringer Ingelheim. My specific focus is on biologics and biosimilars. In my e-learning on stability testing in the ICH region, I will cover seven different modules. Module one will talk about regulatory requirements. I will focus on the main ACH guidelines on European and US guidances, which are a basis for stability testing. In module two, I will talk about the factors which are influencing the stability testing. This could be chemical or physical factors. It could also be microbiological testing. Furthermore, I will talk about container closure systems, which are having an influence on stability testing and I will touch transport studies and in new studies. In module three, I will focus on the stability test requirements. Here we will talk about long-term testing, accelerated testing, but also very important force degradation studies and photostability testing. Module four will cover bracketing and matrixing. It's allowed to do bracketing and matrixing, but as we always know, it has a lot of challenges. And if it's not successful, you, we don't have a stability. Module five will talk about shelf life and extrapolation and the challenges. What data are needed to extrapolate? What data are needed for a retest? And what data are needed to define the shelf life of a drug product? In model six, I will focus on the impact of changes on stability. We all know that manufacturing processes, container closure changes, Changes in different sizes, different routes will have an influence on the stability and we need to do additional tests. And finally, module seven, I will talk specifically about challenges of the biotechnological products. All the topics I mentioned in module one to six are valid for chemical and biological products, but there are some specifics which are important to mention in module seven on biological products. I'm looking forward for your participation in all the modules and to provide you insights on stability testing. Thank you very much.